What's up, guys? We're about to talk about that strong cocaine that the economy is about to start dealing out. Right now, we don't have any more stimulus money in the economy. And what we're seeing is Target, Walmart, Costco, Amazon, many restaurants are like, there's a restaurant I like to go to. I've been to that restaurant. I feel that they're existing off their pickup or delivery business. I have never seen anyone sitting in this restaurant. I've been there like 10, 12 times. I never see anyone sitting in this restaurant. Um, the, co the, the strong cocaine that the economy is about to dish out is going to have people ODing on that first hit. They're gonna go, and they're gonna be knocked out. They're gonna be knocked out. They're gonna be taken out the frame. This video was brought to you by Glendon Cameron School, home of the foundational educational course, Home Economics. I'm gonna keep preaching this, I'm gonna keep pushing this. Before you make more money, you need to learn how to manage and optimize the money that you currently have. Because you'll be one of those people, like these basketball stars, making millions of dollars a year, living paycheck to paycheck, which is stupid. And if you really want to enhance your game, you will enroll in the Rebirth of Hustlers Kung Fu, my foundational business course. Home economics is done. That's the first course that you will take. And then we get into business fundamentals a little later this month. Link is below. Jump into that because I keep trying to tell you guys from a place of truth and honesty that that's the best way to get rich is to learn how to manage your money. So this strong cocaine that the economy is about to dish out is gonna be like something that we have not seen in our generation. This strong cocaine that the economy is about to dish out is gonna be what your grandparents or your great grandparents saw during the Great Depression. Right now, we have the building ingredients of a food shortage. Now, what does this mean? That people, like, uh, I have a friend who says her mother can't find chicken and her mother lives maybe an hour and a half away from me. So it's gonna hit the small towns first because the corporations don't make massive profit in these car small towns. So they're gonna get, they're gonna put the chicken where they can make the most money. Same thing that the diesel oil refineries are doing. Instead of selling the oil here, they're selling it to Europe because they can make more money. This strong cocaine is not going to be playing with anyone. Like I said, we have never seen anything like this. Maybe our grandparents or your great grandparents in the Great Depression, they saw that strong cocaine of the Great Depression. Rooming houses were normal. It was normal. It was normal to see people on the street holding signs begging for money. It was normal. I mean, it was so bad because here's the thing. With the stimulus money evacuating the economy, there is no money. And currently, the guy who predict Michael Drucker, I think, I don't know if I'm saying his name correctly, but he's the guy that predicted the 2008 uh, recession, said that we're about to be on a crazy thing because right now people are living on savings. And once the savings are gone, then we're gonna see the real naked economy. And I'm telling you, it ain't gonna be pretty. This is like, you know, uh, the, the real estate trapper, he, he, he's pretty much, thinks the way that I am. I like, I never was investing in the stock market. You could not pay me to invest in the stock market unless I was an options trader or something. Like once again, if you have the skill sets, you can make money in the stock market, whether it's up or down. But I don't have those skill sets. And you know where I'm putting my money? In the bank. In the bank. You know why? Because Every morning when I do my check, I look at my business accounts, I look at my personal accounts, I look at my credit report. It's comforting to see that, you know, and let's talk about inflation. Okay, people are like, you put your money in the bank, you're gonna lose spending power to inflation. All right, so you got $2,000 in the bank. 
and inflation is 8%, so you've lost $80. Really? 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 I don't buy that because I practice a philosophy called money velocity. I make money so fast that I don't worry about inflation. Let's say, just theoretically, I had 10 million in the bank. 10 million, th th theoretically. And inflation was 10%. So every year that I left that 10 million in the bank, I would lose a million dollars in spending power, right? Then I have a business that makes me 4 million a year. So I have my 10 million in the bank and after taxes, I'm adding another 2 million to my 10 million. See what I'm doing? So I am ahead by a million. And as long as I can practice income velocity and keep putting money in the bank faster than the degradation of inflation, I'll be good. I'll be good. And also just to go ahead and illustrate the example, if I had $10 million in the bank, if I spent a hundred K just no investments, I can live a hundred years off that 10 million, 100 years. If I wanted to spend 200 K, I could go 50 years. If I wanted to spend $300,000 a year, I could do 25 years. So to all you people, you're losing money in the spending, you know, inflation. I got to buy some silver. I got to buy some gold as a hedge. You're wasting your damn time. You're not financially literate because if you knew that those little things are not really hedges, they're not hedges. But back to that strong cocaine, the strong cocaine right now, there is a girl and we're going to call her name. We're going to call her Holly. And there's Holly. Holly right now is living with her husband. Let's call him Todd and they're 2.2 children. And Holly is going to suffer the unfortunate event of her husband passing on. And Holly's gonna be in the world of hurt. In two years in the future, Holly is gonna be selling pussy on the side. Once again, you're gonna have so many women selling pussy and like the price of pussy is at an all time low right now. You think it's look, you gonna have chicks out there turning tricks for 50 or a hundred bucks. Let me say that again to all the sugar babies that think some fool is gonna give you a thousand dollars to take you out one night. You wanna have women selling pussy for 50 to a hundred dollars because that's gonna be the difference between eating and not eating. This strong cocaine they gonna play with, it's gonna play with people. You, right now, and I'm gonna say this because we have a lot of men who are very feminine. And there was this thing in the porn industry, gay for pay. I don't believe in that. I believe if your dick get hard for another man, you're bisexual or gay. That's just my opinion. But you're gonna have dudes out here selling ass because it's gonna be the difference between eating not eating. The sex trade is going to explode. It's going to explode. And like, you know, I'm, I'm going to say something since we're on this topic to all you dumbasses who like to leave his comments. Well, the guy puts out some good comment, but I like to, he likes to mess with 15 to 16 year old girls to all of you dumb fuckers. I got $10,000. If you can prove it, I will. If you can prove once again, if you could prove it, I'll pay you $10,000. Because you like, because see, you, and once again, I'm not speaking to the nerd tribe or the nerd game. You guys don't even, you ain't even paying attention to that. But there's a lot of stupid fuckers who like to come on the channel and leave a comment talking about, here's the thing. And here, because once again, I've done a Criminal Minds profile. And once again, this is the same group of people who are going to be the strong cocaine is going to tear them a new asshole. You want to know why? Because they invest their time in dumb shit. I don't give a damn who somebody's fucking. I don't give a fuck. If there's some old man fucking a 15 year old, I don't give a damn. If she with it, as long as he ain't raping her, 
I don't give a fuck. Some of you moral assholes is like, well, it's just wrong. You don't even know the history of this country. Elvis was fucking a 14 year old in Germany. You don't know that. You don't know that because you're a stupid asshole. And once again, I got $10,000 to any one of you fuckers who can actually prove that I did it. See, it gets a little real because now, because you know, uh, I did a video talking about, I was thinking about suing some of these fools. And when I realized they don't have no damn money, it would just be throwing good money after bad. And in the video, I said I wasn't going to sue anyone. And I got people putting up videos, Glenn the camera's gonna sue me. You know, my girlfriend and I were talking about the other night, and it's just some clickbait. Cause see, this strong cocaine, once again, all of these moralistic assholes, all of these suckers and punks are gonna be the first ones taken out because they're not preparing for war. Like, if you care what Kim Kardashian is doing, the strong, the strong cocaine gonna take your ass out. If you, like, oh yeah, and here's something else too. All of you fuckers, what is going on with R. Kelly? R. Kelly is singing songs and making friends in prison. I suppose, I, I, he was supposed to be taken out by all these pedophile killers. Well, yeah, you go to prison, they handle, no. You know what, you know, you know what these, get these guys going off on some of these convicts? is guys who have sex with babies and toddlers. R. Kelly is fine. That is proof to positive that you motherfuckers don't know shit and you some stupid ass hating little bitches and I cannot wait until when this strong cocaine comes, a lot of these gossipy entertainment channels are going to fail because people are, because this is what's going to happen. Let me tell you what's going to happen. Like right now, gossip, drama, you know, uh, Nicki Minaj, all this other stuff. When it gets to the real, when you go to your refrigerator and you open up the door and there ain't no food in there and you look in your checking account and you see you got 30 cents, you ain't gonna have time for that bullshit. The strong cocaine is gonna get your attention. The strong cocaine is gonna redirect your attention. It's gonna redirect your focus. And what's gonna happen when this strong cocaine starts slapping people left and right upside the head. My business is gonna boom because I teach people how to make fucking money. All of the Anton Daniels and all of these punks and suckers and all, all these folks who got some shit to say, let's see what they do during the strong cocaine period. Let's see how well they fare. Cause see, I've been standing tall here on YouTube for 13 fucking years and I started this shit in a recession and I thrived. Recessions don't mean shit to me. A recession is just an opportunity for me to get richer. But for those of you who are not preparing for war, for those of you who are interested in bullshit and like all this gossip stuff and drama, the strong cocaine has taken out another one. You're gonna take a hit and you're gonna be flat out because you ain't not, because see, we're about to have an economic war. We have the global reset. We have the great wealth transfer. And to get a little conspiracy theorist, we have the Bilderberger and the new world order. You will own shit and you will be happy. We're entering a period where people are not, like, I was amazed at the number of people who rent cars. If I wanted to still be in that car rental business, I would have a ton of customers because these people are not financially literate, they don't have good credit, and they don't have money. That is a booming business. But once again, the demographic is careless, fragile, and avoids responsibility at every twist and turn. So that doesn't make it a good business. But once again, you will own nothing and you will be happy. What's gonna happen? I, I did a statistic. 10% of the United States owns 90% of the stock. So that means that the majority of stock ownership is concentrated in a few hands. And you have YouTube channel after YouTube, invest in the stock market. Like you invest in $5 a day, it's gonna make you rich in the future. Let me just say this, if you think investing $150 a month, $1,800 a year 
it's going to make you a fucking millionaire in 40 years. You are dumb as fuck. Let me say that again for the people in the back. If you think investing $5 a day for 40 years is going to make you rich in the future, you are dumb as fuck. You're operating on hope. You're operating on wishes and dreams instead of stepping your dumb ass up to the plate. Yeah, I said that. You're stupid as fuck if you think investing $5 a day is gonna do some shit for you in the future. It's not. It's not enough capital deployed into the markets to make you any sizable money. They're, you're not gonna get any decent returns with that low capital investment. But this is what people are pushing because that's where your dumb ass is. I only got $5. Here's a word for those of you who want to be able to take the strong cocaine, because this one I'm going to be doing. Oh, that's some good fucking cocaine. Woo! It ain't taking me out because I understand the game. See, if you're preparing for war, you understand you got to make some money. All of this stuff, this kumbaya, and that's almost a, you know, there's no human is worthless. Bullshit. These motherfuckers who are actually having sex with toddlers and babies are some worthless motherfuckers. And there's a whole community of them. And these incels are worthless motherfuckers. And someone that would go into a church and shoot 18 people because they're fucked like, that's a worthless motherfucker. So for all of you kumbaya people like, if it's a human being, there is some worth and value. No, we got a whole bunch of dumbass folks on this planet. They ain't worth shit. Their mother should have crossed their legs and broke their necks to sit the sparrows living their worthless, pathetic existence because they ain't doing shit. They don't contribute to society. They don't build anything. They don't solve problems. They're not good people. They're worthless fucking people. And I have the immediate, the gall to say that because I live in truth. I live in truth. These motherfuckers are worthless. And this is the people who are going to pray and the good solid people these worthless motherfuckers like this when doing the charlottesville when the dude who drove the car and ran over those people he was a worthless person worthless people do things to people who are not doing anything because they're mentally disturbed they, they have some issues extreme envy and jealousy like all the folks who are talking all this well it's actually dropped down quite a bit but all the folks who leave these comments they're worthless motherfuckers. I had someone that wanted to bring me on the show and uh, I actually did uh, some background research and this person who wanted to bring me on the show actually had a GoFundMe up because this dog needed surgery. And I hit him up, I was like, instead of having me on the show to talk about me having sex with young women, why don't you have me on the show to talk about getting some money so you don't have to run a fucking GoFundMe to get your damn dog fixed because you're a broke motherfucker. He ain't like that shit at all. He ain't like, he was like, well, how dare you? I was like, how dare you? You can't even prove I did that shit, but you want to talk about it so you can get some YouTube money because you can't do anything constructive. You can't build anything based on absolute, uh, sincere and profitable economic thoughts and theory. You can't do that shit because you're a worthless ass motherfucker. That's why you want to do this drama. And this is why you want to do this clickbait shit. And, uh, he ended up cussing me out because I offended him by telling him the truth about himself, but he wanted to bring me on the show to talk about some shit that wasn't true. Let me say that again. He got offended at the truth, but he wanted to dip and dab in stuff that wasn't true. It was interesting to say the least, but this strong cocaine, keep playing around, keep watching all of these stupid videos. Keep playing around and, you know, and pe all these folks come up, well, you're going to make all this money in the metaverse. Really? You know who's going to make money in the metaverse? Computer programmers, people who sell games, people who construct the metaverse, people who consume the metaverse ain't going to make shit, dumb motherfuckers. Oh, yeah, I'm in the metaverse. I'll make all this money. And let me tell you something for all you crypto bros. 99% of crypto is going to collapse to nothing. There were so many folks tooting and pumping up Luna mere days before it completely crashed. Well, Luna's going to be this and Luna's going to be that. Luna was like the third largest coin and it crashed to 
nothing. And, and this is what's going to happen to 99% of crypto. This is what's going to happen to 99% of crypto. 99% of crypto is going to crash. Mark my words. So instead of actually rolling up your sleeves and doing something positive and constructing and building business to serve your fellow man, to solve problems and make money, you're going to rent seek. And like, I was like, someone was talking about, Hey, you know, you need to be investing in real estate. You need to be investing in crypto. I'm about to say something that's going to sound extremely arrogant. I would put up the money I have in the bank against the investment gains of all of these crypto and real estate people because most of them cannot pay cash for a fucking car and i'm not talking about a porsche i'm talking about a honda they can't pay cash for a honda but they got all this investment wealth but they can't pay fucking cash for a honda i mean it's ridiculous this strong cocaine is going to reveal who is a technical operator and who is a perpetrating fucking pump, Anton Daniels? Let's see what happens during the strong cocaine period to Anton Daniels. I don't think it's gonna be good to him because once again, this shit ain't gonna be playing with folks because we're in a situation where it's gonna be real. People are gonna be going in their refrigerators, there will be no food. People will be looking at their checking accounts, there will be no money. People will get in their car, the tank gonna be on E. The drastic reality of the situation is about to start slapping motherfuckers across the head and they ain't gonna know what to do. They ain't gonna know what to do. Right now, you got people who are going to foreclosure because they took out HELOC loans and they have no equity in their house and they can't afford to sell it. Dumb. And if, you know, once again, and hear me and hear me well, the decision, <coughs> The decision you made 10 years ago is bearing fruit today. This is how the cycle goes. What you do 10 years, what you do today is going to affect you 10 years in the future. And if you ain't building shit, constructing shit, you're going to be in the same damn place you are today. And that's called non-progress. That's called being fucked up. Like once again, like I've learned my lessons. I learned from my mistakes. I learned from being homeless and living in the fucking boarding house that I needed to save some damn money. I had to learn that lesson the hard way. A, a, hard, a hard head will make a soft ass. And many people are hard headed. Because once again, like when, you know, based upon um, my, um, business success when I, I look through things through the prism of my business success and I look at dividend stock and the, the returns are not that good and I look at going out getting a mortgage on the house and renting it out and cash flowing at three to four hundred bucks a month that makes no sense to me when I can start a small business and make two to five thousand dollars a month without the original investment, without tying up my credit. That makes no sense. See, the strong cocaine is gonna force people to do the right thing. And I can't wait, because my business during the strong cocaine period is going to fucking explode. It's going to explode, because people are like, and you know what's funny? A lot of these fuckers who were hating on me Talking about, oh, he's a child molester. He's got some young pussy. In the future, many of those motherfuckers will be enrolling in my fucking course and they ain't gonna say shit. They just gonna slide in and they're like, oh yeah, I'm taking the course. They're gonna be buying my course because this is something I learned from Gary V. And um, Gary V, he was out there and he had a lot of people shit on him, right? And in the future, they needed Gary V's help. It was hilarious. And that's what a lot of you dumb motherfuckers out there who are spending more time worrying about who fucking who, you're gonna get to the point, you're gonna go to your refrigerator, ain't gonna be no food. At that point, it's gonna be too fucking late.
Let's just keep it real. Let's keep it a buck. It's going to be too damn late. You're going to go in the refrigerator. There ain't going to be no food. There ain't going to be no money in your checking account. And then you're going to come to YouTube and you're going to look for how to start a business with no money because your broke ass don't have shit. You, you, you riding on fumes, you don't have no food, there ain't no money in your checking account, and you're gonna be searching like a madman to find some kind of business that you can start for little or no money. It's gonna be crazy. And I'm gonna tell you something, in the future, I'm gonna have some training on how to start a low cost business that makes millions. Millions, it's gonna be real and factual. But at that point, you're gonna be so broke you're gonna be so ass out, you won't even be able to afford the payment plan. So let me tell you something, instead of focusing on bullshit, instead of focusing on trash, instead of focusing on mental junk food, you need to get your ass in gear right now. Because if you wait the next year, it's going to be too fucking late. Once again, I'm gonna be good. I got money. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a lot more. And you know, when I say that, people get so upset, like he's bragging. I'm gonna give you a piece of wisdom from Michael Jordan. It's bragging when you talk about some shit you have yet to do. It's not bragging when you're talking about some shit you've already done, you weak little moist motherfuckers. They ain't never done shit in life. All you could do is sit in your mother's house and jack off like, Jack off the porn. That's all the fuck you can do. You can just jack off the porn. You can't build no business. You can't sell a product. You can't create a product. All you can do is just jack off the porn and then be angry at successful alpha disruptive men on YouTube who are making your weak punk ass look bad as you jack off in your mother's basement. Cause you ain't shit. You ain't shit. Cause like, I can't wait for the strong cocaine to come. I can't wait until all of you you uh, homosexuals, a lot of you homosexuals are about to get evicted because they're going to be able to upgrade. <laughs> you a homosexual, you think you're putting in work? There are going to be so many homosexuals that who's ever the host of a homosexual is going to be able to go to the homosexual market and go eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a tiger by the toe. This is the one I want. Those are the position to host a homosexual will be able to pick, choose, and refuse. You're gonna have fat chicks. She gonna be 5'2", 250, and she gonna have a six foot two dude with a six pack eating out her fat ass pussy because this motherfucker can't afford to support his own ass. And she gonna be in the bed like, <laughs> eat it daddy, eat it daddy. I would hate to be a weak ass man like that but there's gonna be a bunch of them. They're gonna be eating pussy. They're gonna be sucking dick because they don't have no money. This strong cocaine ain't gonna be playing with people. And I can't wait. I can't wait because there's an intersection of fantasy and reality. And that strong cocaine is gonna dissipate the reality. It's like, you're gonna, it's like you got these glasses on where everything is rosy and looks nice and you take the glasses off and it's like, ah! <laughs> That's gonna be happening. You're gonna wake up and hear people screaming. Ah! <laughs> it's gonna be a daily event because those rose tinted glasses are about to come off and that stroll cocaine gonna be, uh, they're gonna be falling out left and right. They're gonna be falling out left and right. Because this economy ain't gonna be playing with you because there's an intersection that many people who are homeless, they've already gone through the process. They went through a process where I can't afford a place to live and they go buy a tent off of a... Uh... Hello? Yeah, I'm gonna get you one. Hey, uh, your Instacart is here. All right, send them on up, thank you. That stroll cocaine is not going to be playing with people. That stroke cocaine is going to be 100% real, man. That strong cocaine, like I said, it ain't going to be playing with folks, man. It ain't going to be playing with folks. So if you want to be able to sniff that cocaine and get high 
and enjoy yourself? Direct yourself to Glendon Cameron School and enroll in home economics so you can start straightening out your finances. And then enroll in the rebirth of Hustlers Kung Fu, where you can learn how to build a business that can be extremely profitable and you can create life-changing money. Do it, do yourself that favor. Act now because next year it may be too late.